<laughs> Alright, good one, Clark, but I doubt anyone would ever- What the fuck? Now just hold on a sec. I didn't... I... I thought it would be funny. It took turns, Clark. Look, I didn't know all of them brought fucking socks with kryptonite in them. Fuck. Them bitches might not be radioactive, but they sure fucking hurt like they are. How many showed up? Everybody. Oh. Every single person you've ever fucking fought. Jesus Christ. Pretty sure I saw fucking Doomsday in the back. If it makes you feel any better, I lost my job. It really fucking doesn't, Kent. So that's me. I was cloned from the DNA of both you and Lex Luthor. They call me Superboy. I... I see. Well, this is definitely news if there ever was any. If you'll excuse us, Bruce, can we talk? Yes, definitely. What's your take on this? Honestly? Yeah. Well, Clark, in, uh, in my opinion, you owe Lex Luthor some back payments and child support. Yeah, I know it comes as a shock to me too. Wait, what? I mean, he has been raising your son alone this entire time. That is not my son, that is a clone of me. I mean, yeah, in the same way that Damien is a clone of me. This is nothing like that. It seems to me to be exactly like that. You don't know what you're talking about. Clone baby May with stolen DNA without your knowledge or consent? Yeah, that sounds like I have absolutely no knowledge on this subject. Fuck you. You cannot keep defaulting to that when you get your own Robins. He's not a- that, That's not a Robin! He's not a Robin! That's what I said about Tim, too. You're being no help. So if Lex technically created, cared for, and birthed the son, doesn't that mean he's the mom? What the fuck is wrong with you? Well, you had so many questions about the mother of my child, I just thought- Hey, I'm still back here. One, One second. second. Bruce, if you sit in the Morbius chair, you will gain all the knowledge in the known universe. But you'll never be able to leave. Oh. Okay. Now I know this is a hard decision, but if you're not able to fucking bet- Yo, what the fuck?! <laughs> Where the fuck am I? Bitch, I'm the Morbius chair, what the fuck you wanna know? Um... Who, who killed my parents? Joe Chill, motherfucker, you knew that. Yeah, I, I know. I was just make, making sure that you do. I'm the Morbius chair, bitch. I know everything. I mean, don't gotta be a dick about it. If you want to be so fucking smug, who's the Joker? Which one? The, the Joker. Bitch, you don't think I fucking heard you? I asked you which one. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean, which one? Yeah, there's three. What fucking name do you want to know? Say psych right now. What? Say psych right fucking now! You kill the Joker, you get your parents back. Don't think about it, go! I mean, that's a really hard decision to make, Clark. It really isn't! Hey, you look different. Don't change the subject! Look, I have a code and I'm gonna stick to it. You know what? Fuck it. Excuse me? It's December, it's the season of giving. I'll be right back. <laughs> and I'm back. What was... I brought most of them to Pluto. What the fuck?! You can imagine where I took his ass. Are... Are you fucking with me?! You're right, I took it to Saturn, the other one would be too obvious. Clark, you can't just fucking do that! Actually, yeah, I can, it's super simple, it's just part of my biology. Oh my fucking god! I could stop your whole never-ending battle right now, is the Scarecrow giving you trouble again? I'll go handle him real- Just fucking- hold on, man! I feel like you forget that I'm basically God. We're supposed to be fucking heroes, man. The fuck you think I just did? We don't kill! We just went over this. Hey, Bruce. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, hey, Clark. I'm, uh, analyzing my newest supervillain. What are you talking about? That's just the Joker in the lover's version of your costume. While it may appear like the Joker fell through every aisle of a Hot Topic and dispensers and came out the wrong end of both of them, I can assure you, that's simply not the case. Alright, then. What's his deal? He's from a dark mirror of our universe where the Joker finally pushed me too far and I went insane. Oh. My thoughts exactly. Now- What? I- I'm sorry? Tell me his deal again. He- He's me, but... Crazy? Bruce, look down. Uh, okay. Okay, now back at me again. Okay. Now look down one more time. What is this supposed to- What are you wearing? The- That suit? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And feel the top of your head for me? What are those, Bruce? A- Ears. Okay, you're a grown-ass man sitting in the dark in a leather bat suit with ears on his head with four stolen children in the back. You're very well past the point of crazy already, Bruce. Clark, no matter how crazy that you think I am, this version of me is so farther past any line I could ever cross. Oh, really? How's that? What did he do? Well, for starters, on his planet, he killed his entire Justice League. 
I have seen with my own eyes your plans to kill all of us. I mean, you seem like I wanted you to see. I'm sorry, what the fuck was that? Besides, not only that, this one killed his entire bat family. Really? How? Hmm? How? How did he kill them? Oh, uh, he... He shot them. Excuse me? He shot them. He pulled out, he pulled out two Uzis and he shot them. Were they in street clothes? Why? Because I thought all your shit was bulletproof ever since Barbara got Professor X'd. Well, maybe he used special bullets designed to shoot through bat suits. Do you... Do you have specially designed bullets to shoot through bat suits? It, I'm not sure what you want me to say here. No! I want you to say no! Well, I don't want to lie to you, so I'm just not gonna answer. Bruce, why do you really want to find this guy? It's the visor, isn't it? How does he see out of it? Hey, Bruce. I'm, I'm sorry for busting your chops earlier. I do want to help with this new villain. Well, thank you, Clark. That, that means a lot. So what's this guy called, by the way? He's taken to calling himself the Batman Who Laughs. Good one. Okay, I know I was giving you shit earlier, but you don't need to fuck with me now. What, what's he actually called? The... The Batman Who Laughs. <laughs> oh, God, you're being serious. Is something wrong? <laughs> no, it's just... <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Did you pick that? Did, did he pick that? Well, we're the same person. It's kind of hard to say. There is... <laughs> My God, did he spray you with Joker toxin? <laughs> no! No, it's, that's fucking stupid, man! Come on. Dude's fucking name is a whole sentence! It's not that bad. It's a quarter of a paragraph, Bruce! Are you gonna be able to fucking behave yourself? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I will. <laughs> Come on! Okay, <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm sorry. It's so many words. It's only four words. I dare you to name one hero with more than three. Thor God of Thunder. That doesn't fucking count. Arm fall off boy. He's barely even a hero. He's more super than I am. Okay, at least tell me his partner's names are just as long. No, their names are the Drown, the Devastator, Red Death, the- His buddy's name is Red Death and he went with the Batman who laughs? Whole lot of talk coming from a guy with a villain named Mr. Mitya Spitlick. Okay, yeah, the difference there is that Mr. Mixia Spitlick's whole gig is that his name is hard to pronounce. Dude, I promise you, if you knew how he killed you on his planet, you would not be making jokes right now. Oh no, it's the Batman who laughs, proceeds to scream. Are you not even gonna fake scream? No, I'm just that terrified. All right, Clark, you're not scared. You're not worried at all. Fine, you wanna know how he killed you on his planet? Who, the marsupial boy what does the chuckling? The Batman who laughs stuck you in a room with John and Lois. Okay. He threw in an altered piece of black kryptonite. It made you go insane. It made John go insane. And then you tore her apart. Oh. Then he let you and John go at each other like fucking animals to see who would win. And then he kept John as a pet. Oh my god. Yeah, Clark. This is fucking serious. So I'd like you to start acting like- Yeah, Flash, you're good. Go ahead and do the thing. What? Oh! Oh, you did? Oh, okay, cool. See you at the Hall of Justice. Beers on me tonight. Oh, uh, yeah, so you know how he's basically just a jokerized you? Yeah? Yeah, no, so he's just like a normal dude with a terrible name, so I just had Flash rip his fucking heart out at the speed of time. You, you fucking what? You thought you were the only one with contingency plans, my guy? Hey, Lane. Yes, Selena? There has always been one question that has bugged the shit out of me. And what might that be? You're about to ask me about my husband's penis, aren't you? Is it normal? Does it look like a human being? Oh, okay. Better question, even if it does look like a human being, is it in the place that a human being is? Selena, is there pincers? Does it have eyes? Selena, is it small? Is it normal sized? Or is there a reason that you coined the term Superman? Kyle, can it move on its own like a fucking snake? That's just horrifying. Is he circumcised? Is he not circumcised? Did it come pre-circumcised? Can he roll the foreskin back at will? What goes on in your mind? Once it's like, you know, time, does it like fire off like a pistol? Do we have a child? That's not a no. Okay, Selena. D yeah? That's for me to know and you to wonder, hon. Okay, I guess. The pincers do hurt, though. What the fuck? So... So let me, let me just run through this one more time. I mean, personally, I would rather we not, but okay. Dick Grayson was taken away by police. Yep. 
You leave the circus with Vicky Vale, leave her with Alfred, tell them to drive home, and then you follow the cops as Batman. After I had tracked down the guy that cut the ropes and injected them with snake venom, but yeah. I, I, I'm gonna have to circle back to that later. Yeah, that's understandable. You find the police with the young Dick Grayson, who are about to murder him for some reason. Because they were dirty cops. Not really an explanation, but okay. I mean, it is a little bit. You mercilessly beat all of the cops in a swarm of actual bats, scaring the living shit out of Dick Grayson in the process. That is what happened, yeah. You kidnap a child. Express adoption, but yeah. Kidnap a child and take him back to your fucking cave. I mean, you don't need to say it like that. And then you leave this traumatized child on the night of his parents' death, surrounded by weapons with no food. I mean, he had rats. What the fuck is wrong with you? I was going through a rough time, okay? So, after you had left this traumatized child alone in a cave full of weapons on the night of his parents' murder with nothing to eat other than fucking rats... Don't forget the fact that on the way to that cave, I also repeatedly called him the Arsler. Why? Why even? He, um... He didn't think the bat gimmick was cool? Oh, yep. Yep. Yeah, I deserve that. What else happened on this same night? Well, I heard that there was a gang of criminals smuggling bleach on the Gotham docks. Okay. So, obviously, I went after them and- Oh, shit, I almost forgot. On the way there, I also kicked in a windshield into a cop's face. Why? Felt like it. Right, so I, I found the smugglers down there. O okay. And Black and Airy came to help me. Random, but okay. And since they were uh, smuggling bleach, I, I lit them all on fire. You, you, you lit them all on fire? Yep. Did, did they live? Probably not. I then me and Black and Airy fucked. I'm sorry. What? I didn't want to do this, Bruce. You should have just listened to me. Look, Clark. I'm telling you right now, you don't want this. I know you have the superpower pill here. Where is it, Bruce? Oh, you mean the pill that gives everybody the same level of strength as you? Do you know exactly what I mean? Oh, he has it. What are you... the hell? Well, hello there, Master Ken. Oh. Oh, fuck. Well, you wouldn't happen to be looking for this, would you? Please don't take that. Oh, uh, you see, that's what I thought. Bottoms up, old boy. Oh, no. Ah, oh, that's got a bit of a kick to it, doesn't it? Now, let's just hold on a minute. I assume you know what happens now. Uh, I'm fucked. You're right, fucked, yeah. I, I'm just gonna go. Ah, <laughs> not just yet. No, 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 no. Say you're sorry to my boy over there. I'm sorry. Now say pretty please don't kick me so hard your shoes explode. What? <laughs> now nah, I'm gonna do it anyway. Everybody, I would like to introduce you to my partner, Robin. Hey, everybody. Partner, what happened to work alone, brute? Boy, boy, that is a small, that is a small naked boy. Something wrong, Clark? No, no, you... Yeah, no, no. Hey, Bruce, can we just talk one-on-one? -on -one? What seems to be the problem, Clark? Care to explain what the fuck's going on? I'm not sure. What are you talking about? Bruce, did you just walk into the fucking Hall of Justice with a ten-year-old... Nine-year-old. Excuse me, not Nine? We'll get back to that. Did you just walk into the Hall of Justice with a nine-year-old boy in a fucking Speedo? He's my ward, Clark. I'm teaching him to overcome his trauma the way I did. Okay. Uh, Bruce, Bobby, baby, um, you are a white billionaire in his mid-thirties, walking around with a small, half-naked child, and you are calling him your partner. Yeah, it's not a good look. No. No one's gonna think that. No one's gonna think that way, right? It... What did you give him as a weapon? Um, is that a fucking pole? I don't see what that has to do with- You gave a half-naked child a pole? It all seemed like a logical idea at the time. Everyone, I would like to reintroduce you to my partner, Robin. Yo, what up? Rob? I thought Dick quit. Bruce, I thought Dick quit! How did you f how did he find another? How did he find another? What's his deal? Don't mind him, he's just like this sometimes. Why do I suddenly feel like I'm in danger? Fucking come here! I'm sorry. What? Bruce? Yeah, Clark? Buddy? Baby? Brucey? Batsy? Why do you have another child? Well, you see, it's actually a funny story. Please enlighten me. Well, you see, I found this small homeless boy stealing the wheels off of my car. So... So I kidnapped him and made him my Robin. What? Well, I found this small homeless boy. No, 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 I heard you, I heard you. What? Well, I, I needed criminals to not suspect anything was different with Robin. I don't know if you realize, but that boy is 13. Yeah? Well, Brucey, that's the thing. Dick was 18 when he left. Oh, shit. Yeah. Hey, Bruce, I just, I want you to know, um, I heard what happened to Jason. Uh, I'm really sorry. I'm here for you if you need me. Do you need anything? Are you okay? No. <laughs> Thank you, Clark. That 
That means a lot. No, it's been it's been hard, but Alfred and Dick they've been keeping me company. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, and Tim's really helped out around the cave. That that's good. Excuse me, who? T T Tim, it's the new Robin. The the new Robin? Hey, don't look at me like that. This one's not my fault. The other one just got fucking beat to death, Bruce. This one came to me. This is not on me. So some random orphan comes up and asks you to adopt him, and you're just cool with that? I, uh, I, this one, this one's not not an orphan, actually. You kidnapped someone's child. For the last time, he came with me willingly. So you and someone's child just ran away together. Well, I gave this one pants. You happy? Oh. You cannot be serious. Oh. Oh. What the hell? Oh shit, that's probably Jason. The dead one? Da, 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 da. Oh, hey, 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 Clark, hey, how you doing? Hey, Bruce, uh, what's going on? N nothing, nothing, nothing's going on. Everything's, everything's, um, fine. Everything's, uh... Okay, fuck it, I need to get ahead of this. There's another Robin behind this door. Another one? Hey, hold on, this one's not my fault. You said that about the last one, too. Th this... This one's my kid. This one's my actual, uh, biological kid. It yeah. I'm sorry, is that supposed to make it better? I mean, a little, this one wasn't adopt- Kidnapped, this one wasn't kidnapped. I prefer the term express adoption, but whatever. Okay, well, who's the mother? I'm sorry, what? You said this one's your kid. Who's the mom? No, oh, it's just, yeah, uh, t t Talia al Ghul. I'm sorry, did you just say Talia al Ghul? Look, man, I was drugged, it's not- Yep. I- <laughs> I wanna meet the kid. I don't know if that's such a good- Shut it, I wanna meet the kid. Robin, God, is that a fucking sword? Are you- are you okay? You gave him a fucking sword? Hey, he came with the sword, okay? He's not an action figure, Bruce. You can take the fucking sword out of his hands. Like fucking hell I can. You're an adult trained in every conceivable way to kill a man, and you can't take a sword away from a ten-year-old? Oh no, you're absolutely right. Do you want to try and take it away from him? That's what I fucking thought. Yeah, whatever. How you just kind of showed up one day and said, take him. I didn't really have a say in this one, man. Wait, what the fuck happened to Tim? I thought Tim was Robin. No, yeah, he is. Tim's still Robin. Then what the hell is the Ninja Turtle over there gonna be? Robin. I'm sorry, what the fuck? T Tim's gonna be a, a different Robin. He's gonna be a, um... Red Robin. You just looked at my cape and named him Red Robin, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Kent. Fucking... What do you want? Your dog. Bark, bark. I like him. I'm keeping him. Crypto. Everybody, I'd like to introduce you to my son. Superboy. Hey guys, it's really exciting to meet everybody. Oh yes, it's nice to meet you, Superboy. Wait a minute. Oh shit, wait, Batman, I can explain. Robin, go play with Superboy. Yes, father. Kent boy. Hmm? We are now best friends, come. Uh, oh. It's, uh, it's fine, John. Go ahead. Okay. I know you probably have a million things to say. Do you want to bring it up or should I? Look, I didn't choose for him to do this, but it was his choice. Hypocrite. Fuck you. No, because I thought child soldiers were wrong, right? They are, but it looks to me like you took your, what is it, 13 year old son, put him in a Value Village sweatshirt with some Hot Topic jeans and told him to go fight crime. This is different. He has super so How much training did you give him before you threw him out there? Because it looks like you just told him he was really strong and gave him a cape. Oh my god, I knew you were gonna be like this. Which actually, you might want to go get your boy, because it looks like Damien's about to test how strong he is with his sword, and that bitch has got kryptonite in it. I now present another one of the funniest goddamn moments in comics history. And while some of the words are changed, this actually happened. Hey, Ken. What's up? Anyone ever tell you you look like Superman? You know, actually, yeah, a ton of people tell me that. I personally don't see the resemblance, but apparently it's there. Oh, Peekaboo, motherfucker! Oh, Jesus Christ! Fuck? Me and Mr. Mallet here are on vacation from Gotham, and I want to see how much chaos I can cause before the end of the day. So, any, mini, miny, this tweet. <laughs> no, 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 wait, 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 wait! Fuck. God damn it, did this really have to happen on my shift? Shit. Okay, giant mallet, giant mallet, giant mallet. We've dealt with lasers and magic and bombs, but... God, how would a normal person react to getting hit with a giant mallet? Well, they'd probably fucking die, right? And of all people, Joker definitely knows how a normal person would react to this. Shit, should I just roll with it? Oh, fuck this, yeet. <laughs> wait, wait, how the fuck? No clue. Batman's right behind you, by the way. Oh, son of a- Hey, man, having a nice vacation? Okay, I'm 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 gonna need you to run this by me just what just one more time. Okay, but can you not can you not talk so loud, please? I asked you to stand in as Bruce Wayne for for one for one weekend. Yep. Cause I had I had some Batman shit to do. That you did. 
And while you were standing in, you had to go to a yacht party. It's a nice boat. Where apparently you played Bruce Wayne so convincingly that everyone fully believed that you were me. I'm a good actor and Bruce Wayne's basic as shit. Okay, a little hurtful. Then what happened? Well, apparently someone had hired Deathstroke to kill you. Not the first time. At first he poisoned your drink and that had some... Uh, oh, yeah, Verse effects. You got fucking drunk. It's not my fault. Lower your voice. Jeez, fuck. Then what happened? Well, I went downstairs and. Hello, Mr. Wayne. Deathstroke. Deathstroke. Cool suit. <laughs> what? What the fuck's happening? You mean Bruce Wayne shirt? Oh, hey. You go. Then then I flicked him into orbit. You what? So can we talk about how fucking petty Batman is? For those of you who don't know, after Superman learned Batman's secret identity, Batman then turned around, learned his secret identity, took Lois Lay down on a date, bought the apartment that Superman lives in, and then went and bought the Daily Fucking Planets. Batman owns Superman. Like that interaction had to have gone like this. That's low, even for you. Bruce Wayne, you peaked. That motherfucker! Alfred! Alfred, where the fuck you at? I put a tracker on Superman's cape when he went home. I know who he is. It's Clark Kent and you owe me 20 bucks. Oh, and while you're fetching me that 20, I want all of this man's earthly possessions! He works at what? Like the Daily Planet? Don't call me J. Jonah fucking Jameson because Wayne Tech now has a newsroom! Oh, he has an apartment? I want the whole fucking building. Oh, does his fucking vivid parents have a farm? Well, guess what? I just bought a fucking farm. Oh, does he have a dog? Well, guess what? Ace has superpowers now. I want that bitch! But you're being fucking petty! Motherfucker thinks he can look under my mask. We'll see how big and powerful he is after I steal his fucking girl. Right, 